Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time. Um, I, I, this is going to be a great service this afternoon. <laughs> but um, I, um, it's, it's been an interesting week this week. Um, I know that, that God has been speaking into my life. And I know that God is going to speak here today. As I bring this message because um, God gave me this message. Amen. (laughs) Monday morning. Hallelujah. Well, let's pray. Lord, today I ask you in Jesus' name. Lord, today I ask you in Jesus' name. Come on, I can't hear you. Lord, I ask you in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you in Jesus' name. That my mind be open to your word. That my mind be open to your word. To bring me a fresh revelation. Today, Today. in Jesus' name. name. Hallelujah. This week I've been in the book of Proverbs. And I don't know why, but that's the way God rolls with me. He tells me, this is what I want you to do, and this is what I want you to read, and and that's what I do. And um, I guess the reason why that he's doing this is because we're living in like some crazy times right now. And, um, you know, like, I feel like, like, Lord, I need some wisdom, you know what I mean? I need wisdom to, to, you know, to live because, you know, and like everyone knows, the book of Proverbs is the book of wisdom. And it's like, Lord, I, I, I need, I need you right now. And, and I could see how God is moving and also I could see how everything is coming together and how the enemy is doing his thing and, and how the world that we live in today is all chaotic, you know what I mean? Look at what's going on right now. You know, last night we had like a curfew going on here in, in Miami. That's like, you know, because of a death of this, you know, Mr. Floyd and every other you know and you can see the craziness that that we're living today you know what i mean but i think um this chaos you know is is not just about you know what's going on and about you know floyd and you know everything that that is that we could see today you know what i mean and all the violence and you know, the pandemic and everything else, there's something behind all this, you know what I mean? And this is a question that, that I ask myself all the time, you know, like, Lord, you know, that's why I'm like, you know, show me. And, and I have a couple of scriptures that I want to start off with, you know, and that I've, that I've read this week, you know, in the book of Proverbs. And the first one is in Proverbs 16:29. And this is something that we need, we need in our lives, you know what I mean? And, and we need to open our eyes and see what's going on in the world. And today, I'm, if you're watching or you're listening to me, today I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the real deal. I'm going to tell you how to live what we're living today. You know what I mean? Today I'm going to give you answers. I believe that because I got some answers this week. And today, who wants answers? Because I want, I need some answers, and and this here has all the answers, amen. So this book, you know, Proverbs sixteen twenty nine says, violent people mislead their companions, leading them down a harmful path. And let me tell you, this is what's happening right now. This is what we are seeing right now on tv i normally don't watch the news because i'm not really i i'm not i don't want to get into you know politics and everything that's going on because that's what the news is about so i kind of like don't watch the news but don called me the other day and told me look you know this is going on and this is going on so he's kind of like my news reporter kind of (laughs) i love this man he is awesome and, and he told me about everything that was going on. 
And then I look into this Proverbs and it says violent people mislead their companions. And you see one guy doing something and then you see everybody else following along. You know what I mean? And then they're saying that this is a protest and this and that. But it's not a protest. It's, they're acting like criminals out there. You understand what I'm saying? This is like crazy. And, and, and we see in the book of, of Proverbs. And if we also go to Proverbs 13.2... It says, from the fruit of their lips, people enjoy good things. So if we're speaking good things and we're saying good things, we will enjoy good things. But it says, but the unfaithful have an appetite for violence. Proverbs, the, this is the last Proverbs, I hope. Proverbs 3, 31 through, 30, 31 through 33. It says, do not envy violent people or copy their ways. And let's, let's be real. Is there a lot of people following other people, copying what they're doing, right? It's, it's in the Bible, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening right now, it's in this word. Okay? And it says, Such wicked people are detestable to the Lord, but He offers His friendship to the godly. The Lord curses the house of the wicked but he blesses the home of the upright so i give you some advice this morning be blessed amen don't follow in everyone else's footsteps just because everyone else is doing and saying we don't need to do and say nothing we need to sit down and pray and seek the lord amen and i believe that with all my heart you know what i mean and, and sometimes, you know, throughout this week, uh, I was like, you know, what do I do? You know, Lord, what's my next step? You know, because I don't really even know what tomorrow holds. I don't know, you know, what's happening with this virus. You know, I, I don't even know. Like, who knows what's next? Does anyone know what's next? I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know what's next. You know, and I don't, I don't want to make any mistakes. I don't know about you guys. But I don't want to make any mistakes. And, and probably some of you guys have the same questions I have. Do you? I, I don't know. But I have all these questions in my mind. And, you know, and, and last week I, I talked about trust. And, and that's what I'm doing. I'm trusting the Lord. I, I am trusting God. But, but we still have all this thing that's going on, you know, in our lives right now. And we're like, oh, my God, Lord, where, where are you taking all this, you know? And, and I don't know, you know, what else to do but pray. So, and this was, this is what God gave me. Who wants to know? Amen. Who wants to know the, the, the key? Amen. I'm going to give it to you. You, you. you need to write it down. I'm going to tell you. It's funny that, that my wife told me that today is the day of Pentecost. I didn't even know that till this morning. You know, and, and it's funny because I'm going to talk about the man today. Because the man is the, the one that we need to go and go and 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 surpass everything he has all the answers that we need Raul Hakadesh, he has the answers the Holy Ghost has all the answers amen. amen and we don't realize it because we don't really study him we don't really know who he is and today I'm gonna tell you what he's all about amen L look at Joel this is what we're living in today amen so for you guys that don't know what we're living in, I'm going to tell you today. And I'm going to tell you how to beat everything out there and, and how to overcome all your worries and all your problems and say, man, he got everything in control. Listen to this. And it shall come to pass, Joel 2, 28 and 29. This is, this is the verse. And it shall come to pass afterwards with... That I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see vision. This is what is going to happen. There is going to be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And you guys need to be prepared for that. Amen. Joel prophesies that there will be there will come a day when God's spirit will be poured out on all flesh today we are living in the end times 
We are living in the days that this man, this prophet is talking about. Listen to this. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. We are living in the last days. Trust me. Listen to this. But understand this, that in the last days... There will come times of difficulty, for people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unho unholy, heartless, un uh, unappraisable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, Swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having an appearance of godliness but denying its power. Hello? Hello? What do you think about that? Is, it, is that what we're living in today? It says, in the last days, this will come. Okay? So this is what, what's going on right now. This is what we, what do we need? We need the Holy Spirit. It's funny that today is the day of Pentecost. I didn't even know that today was the day of Pentecost, but God knew. And you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to talk about Him. I'm going to talk about the Holy Ghost because that's who we need. We need the Holy Ghost. We need the Holy Ghost. We need Him. We need Rahuak Hakadesh in our lives. We need His power. You want to survive? You you want to you know you want to a questions answered in your life? You need the Holy Spirit. Listen to this. The ministry of the Holy Spirit was reserved for these times. This is the time of the Holy Ghost. This is the time that we need the Holy Ghost. We need Him now more than ever. Ironically, Christians seem to know less about Him than ever before. Nobody knows. Everybody thinks the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongues and Him getting touched. And yeah, it is. It is. But the Holy Spirit is much more than all that. The Holy Spirit is not just about power and, 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 and anointing. He is power and anointing. But He's a lot more than that. He's a lot more than that. Listen to this. The Bible talks Jesus was just sharing His last meal with His disciples and told them that He will go to Jerusalem to be crucified. They were... Distraught, he said, let, let not your heart be troubled. I am going to prepare a place for you. John 14, 16 in the King James. It says, and I will pray the Father and he will give you another, the Comforter. New King James calls him the Helper. That he may abide with you forever. He is going to be with us forever. Hallelujah. But that's not the way that most people see Him. Listen, listen to this and write this down. The Holy Spirit is with us everywhere we go, seeing everything we see, hearing everything we hear, listening to everything we say, and experiencing everything we choose to do. Well, you didn't know. You weren't ready for that one, right? Did I say too much? Rewind the video. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is with us everywhere we go, seeing everything we see, hearing everything we hear, listening to everything we say, and experiencing everything we choose to do. The Father intent for the Holy Spirit was to be our best friend. He is the one that we need today. He is the one that we need in these times. In these end times, we need the Holy Spirit. Amen? And today, what I'm going to do is give you some names of the Holy Spirit. Because His names tell you about what He is about. 
well, who he is and what he's doing and what he's going to do. Like my wife was prophesying about Rebecca. Rebecca has three names and each name has a meaning, right? And now I'm, I'm going to tell you some names about the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to tell you what their meanings are. And through these meanings, you're going to see where he fits in your life, where he fits in today, and where he fits in everything that's going on today. Amen? Hallelujah. Listen to this. It says that he is the comforter. Amen? In Greek, it's, it means Paracletos, who one who is called alongside another to render aid, assistant, and support. Man, do we need the comforter in our lives? Do we need the comforter right now in our lives? It says the comforter, Paracleto in Greek, one who is called alongside another to render aid, assistant, and support. Now I want you to pay attention to this verse. I'm going to read it in the Amplified Bible. Pay close attention because this verse is the one that's going to bring this whole message together. John 14, 26 in the Amplified. Put it there in the Amplified because in the Amplified is where it's going to bring it all together. John 14, 26. It says, but the comforter, palacletos, counselor, helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, stand by the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name. This is red letters. Jesus is talking here. In my name, in my place to represent me and act on my behalf. He will teach you all things and he will cause you, cause you to recall, will remind you of, bring to your remembrance everything I have told you. We need everything. We need the Holy Spirit. Think about this. Think about this. But the comforter, counselor, helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, strengthener, stand by the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name. So it's in his name that the Holy Spirit is him, is here with us. In my place. So he took Jesus' place and to represent, he's representing Jesus, me, and act on my behalf. Okay? He will teach you all things and he will cause you to recall. Will remind you of bringing to you remembrance of everything I have told you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The comforter. I'm going to break it down now. Number one, the comforter. The Holy Spirit is the one who can cause us to overcome pain. The comforter, disappointment, grief, and sorrow that comes alongside with life uh, comes alongside with life instead of turning self-medication or destructive behavior we must learn to allow him to bring us the divine comfort that only he can bring you want me to repeat that I don't care I'm gonna repeat it the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, is the one who can cause us to overcome pain, disappointment, grief, and sorrow. Come on now. Who needs a Comforter in their lives? Amen. We all need the Comforter. Amen. We need the Holy Spirit. You want to overcome things that are happening today? We need the Comforter that could overcome pain, disappointment, grief, sorrow that comes along with life instead of turning to self-medication. How, how many of us see that today? Or destructive behavior. Do we see destructive behavior? Because that's, you know, instead of seeking the Holy Spirit, people are, destruct, are tearing things up. Amen? In the name of Jesus too. Let me tell you, I guarantee you there's a bunch of Christians doing all this stuff too. I guarantee you. Behaviors, we must learn to allow Him to bring us the divine comfort that only He can bring. Oh, it got quiet in here now. Number two, the counselor. This I talked about the other day. Hallelujah! 
who could hear me? Amen. Who's listening? Amen. The counselor, instead of listening to a ton of advice from men and women who can't, can't fast forward to tomorrow or can't rewind back to yesterday, we must practice getting our inside information from the ancient of days who was and is to come. Let him counsel you instead of your feelings. Repeat it? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to repeat it. Instead of listening to a ton of advice from men and women who cannot fast forward to tomorrow and cannot rewind back to yesterday, we must practice getting our inside information from the ancient of days, Uharabashaya, who was and is to come. Let him counsel you instead of people or even your feelings. Because sometimes we even let our feelings counsel us. Oh, I'm feeling like this. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to destroy this. And I'm going to do that. Because that's, what I, that's who I am. And it's funny because I see a lot of people posting a lot of stupid stuff on Facebook. Talking about this and that. And, and I re if I recall back when I was a kid, these people were hiding under, when, when there was any kind of trouble, they're hiding. And all of a sudden, they're, 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 uh, we need the Holy Ghost. I'm going to give you some advice today. Those that are listening, you need the counselor in your life to counsel your, your foolishness. I'm being straight up today. Because there's a lot of foolish people out there. Number, what, number three, right? <laughs> Woo! I'm getting ahead of myself. He is our helper. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness and inability. Oftentimes, we struggle unnecessarily because we choose to face life on our own instead of embracing the help of the helper provider deliverer protector etc etc and we can, can keep going he is a man we need the man in our lives repeat it he is the helper the holy spirit helps us in our weaknesses and inabilities, oftentimes we struggle unnecessarily because we choose to face life on our own. It sounds like I was preaching this the other day. Huh? Instead of embracing the helper of the healer, provider, deliverer, protector, he is our helper. Who needs some help this morning? I need his help. It's quiet in here today. I'm preaching the truth tonight. Amen. Tonight. We might go into tonight in this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. Number f four, right? Yes, number four. The, I'm, I'm breaking it down how the Amplified Bible. That's, that's what I'm doing here so you guys understand. You know that, right? Yeah. All right. You got it, right? You, you looked up the Amplified there? <laughs> yeah, you got it. You could get it in your phone. Hallelujah. Number four, intercessor. Jesus is our mediator who ever lies to make intercession for us. The Holy Spirit, however, takes hold together against our weaknesses and prays through us the perfect will of God. I feel the Holy Ghost in the house. I was, I need some Holy Ghost fire in my life. Who needs some Holy Ghost fire in their life? Because if we don't have the fire of the Holy Ghost, we're going to get swallowed up in this world. And let me tell you, this is the time that the Christians need to stand up. But we can only stand up with Him, with the Comforter, with the Helper. He is the one that could guide us to the next level. He is the one that's going to help us now in the last days. And funny thing about it is that most people are not even thinking about the Holy Ghost. They're thinking about something else. Oh, how could I do this? It's time for us to seek the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Number five. I like this one. He's our advocate. 
Woo! He is our champion, our supporter, our biggest fan. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He always pleading our, he's always pleading our case to whoever is willing to listen. While Satan is accusing us of everything under the sun, the Holy Spirit is standing up for us and declaring the end picture that only God can see. He even stands as advocate against our own self-doubt, insecurity, can you own this here now? Are you guys understanding me here today? Yes. It's quiet here today. Oh, oh. He is my champion. He's my champion. I need my champion. I need him on his, my side right now. Many people are like, huh, what do you need the Holy Spirit for? We need him. I'm telling you today, that's what Jesus told me. God told me this week that I would say it's probably the Holy Spirit that told me. Because back here it says, I am with you. I send him. Who sent him? Jesus sent him to be like me. You know what I mean? To do things like me. He, it, trust me. It's the Holy Spirit that is speaking here in this house today. It's the Holy Spirit that's bringing you a conviction here today. I don't do it. I can't do it. He speaks to me. I speak to you. Amen. 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 He is our advocate. He is our champion, our supporter, our biggest fan. And he always pleading our case to whoever is willing to listen. We need to go out and preach the gospel. This is our time. But how we're going to do this? We need the Holy Spirit. We need to go out there and preach. We need, I need some Dons in this place. Because Mr. Don is going to be 81 years old and he's out there preaching the word. And how does he do that? How do you think he does that? With Rahuah HaKadosh, he is with the Holy Ghost. He is filled with the Holy Ghost. And that's why he has the ability to do what he does at the age of 81. Out there preaching to everybody out there in this warehouse. Everybody has got saved here because of that man. Think about it. How many of us have evangelized this warehouse? None of us. The only thing we do is talk bad about because they have junk cars out there. <laughs> Think about it. Ah, oh, these people, they don't even give me parking. And he's out there in the name of Jesus. You want to receive Christ? Because we're living in those days, but we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we need the Holy Ghost. We need him in our lives. He is our helper. He is our comforter. He is, he is our advocate. He is the champion. He is the man that we need in this hour, in this time, the days that we're living today. We need more of the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to seek the Holy Spirit. Number six, he is what? Our strengthener. He gives me strength. Not this kind of strength, but Holy Ghost strength. Everybody like, yeah, he is my strengthener. When we spend time in his presence, in the presence of God, communing with the Holy Spirit, he strengthens us with God, abundant in power. He gives us the power that we need. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Let's say they're going to exchange their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, to do a great exchange. For our strength to his strength. Our, did you guys understand what I just said? It's time to exchange this strength to his strength. Because when we have his strength, we have real power. Amen. I, you understand? Amen. Come on now. Everybody's so quiet here today. You guys should be excited. Really? There should be some dancing in here. 
Like some Holy Ghost. Today is the day of Pentecost. What happened in the day of Pentecost? Fire came down. People got baptized in the Holy Ghost. Things happened. People were, what, what did Peter do after that? He started preaching. We need to start preaching right now. There's a lot of people hurting. There's a lot of people confused about things that are going on. Right now, we're living in the last days. God wants us to preach the gospel. But we need strength. We need to do this great exchange with him. It's not me anymore. It's you inside of me. But we don't, we're not understanding this. We're not understanding what God is saying. Christians nowadays are not looking at the Holy Spirit like the one that's going to give them strength. The one that's going to help them. The one that's going to build them up. The one that's going to, what? He's our advocate, intercessor, helper, counselor, comforter. He's all that. Amen. So that if he's all that, think about it. He's everything that I need. Are you excited? Amen. I thought somebody was going to say, Hell no! <laughs> you better be excited. Facebook can't cut me out for that one. Because that's a place that a lot of people are going to go because of foolishness. So if you don't know Jesus Christ, today is your day to accept Him as Lord and Savior and say, Lord, let Him come in my life because I need Him right now, today. I need Him in my life. And you'll see that God will change your life just like He changed my life 27 years ago. And who did it? Who do you think did it? <laughs> He's a man. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man that's just changing my life every day. He's the one that we need to hang on to. Like I said, we need to exchange us with him. You want strength? You want power? You want to ride on wings of eagle? You need to do a great exchange. You need to exchange you with him. Because when we're walking in the Holy Spirit, let me tell you, we're going to be unstoppable. Who's going to stop him? Who could stop the Holy Spirit? No one. Think about it. I've given, you the, I've given you all the tools that you need for the rest of your life in one preaching. I'm never going to preach again. That's it. That's all you guys got. I've given you the tool. I've given you, like they say, the, the Holy Grail. You got it. That's all you need. Number seven. This is the last one. Whoo. Haramashia. Hallelujah. You excited? Yes. <laughs> it don't sound like it. <laughs> Number seven. Stand by. He is, he is the only one who can truly say, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Boy, oh boy. Amen. He will never leave you or forsake you. He is the only one that could say that. How many of us have been abandoned by the Holy Ghost? No one. No one. He will never leave you or forsake you. He is with you in all times. Not to judge you or condemn you. Just because He loves you. He is with us all the time. He is Jehovah Shammah. You guys are like, what are you guys, why are you throwing all these words? No, that, whatever. He's Jehovah Shammah. You know what that means? The Lord is there. He's there. He's there. Jehovah, he is Jehovah Shammah. He's there. He's right here, right now. He is speaking through my lips. Because he is the one that told me to bring this message. And I tell you this morning. If you're going through anything. If, if, if you're going through hard times. You know what I mean? If anything. We need him now. 
We need the Holy Spirit, not tomorrow, not yesterday. We need him right now. What we're going through, I don't know if you guys have seen anything that's happening, but what we're going through right now, we need him now. How many of us could say, I need him? him. Two people. Come on, let me hear you. I need need him. him. Who needs wisdom? You need the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Who needs knowledge? I do. Who, what do you need? <laughs> there you go. Who needs the, some more trust? There you go. That's who you need. So let me tell you, I, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm end here. If you see your life, you're not going nowhere and nothing has happened right in your life right now. And things are not going the way you, you plan because it's, we plan. We always plan and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But if things are not going your way, whoever is listening to me, if things are not going your way right now, I tell you, in the name of Jesus, you need the Holy Spirit. If you've never accepted Jesus, like I said earlier, accept him today. Not only accept Him, ask Him to fill you with the Holy Spirit. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Not just, oh, I'm going to receive the Holy Spirit. You need the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? I'm going to tell you one last time. Amplified in the Amplified Bible. Let me tell you who He is. He is our helper. He is our comforter. He is the advocate. He is our intercessor. He is a counselor, strengthener. He stands by our side. The Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name, in my place, to represent me and act on my behalf. He will teach you what? All things. And he will help you remember everything that I have told you. He will remember today everything that I have said. You will remember that you need the Holy Spirit in your life. Amen. You want to get past these times? You want power? You, you want to do God's will now? Who wants to do God's will now? Amen. Not later. Now. Who is uncertain about what's going on? We need him. Jesus sent him so he could take care of us. He is my buddy. And that's what you need to see today. And that's what I'm preaching to you. He is there to help you. We need him now. We need him right now. Who can say now? Now. 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 Right now. Right now. We need Holy Ghost fire. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stand, and and I'm going to finish with a prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for your goodness, your love, your kindness, your mercy, Father God. Thank you for your Holy Ghost, Lord. I thank you that you brought the counselor, the comforter, the advocate, the intercessor, the strengthener, the one that stands by my side. I thank you for the Holy Ghost, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that the Holy Spirit is inside of me, Father God. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus for those that are watching, Father God, today that have never received the Holy Ghost, Father God. Let them open their hearts today, Father God, in Jesus' name. And those that are here, that are here today, Father Father God, let him lean on him, Father God. Let him rest, Father God. Let him help them, Father God, in this time of trouble and tribulation, Father God. I pray this all in the name of Jesus, Lord. And the church says, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you.